Let's dive in and take a look at Essential Namer 2. I just want to point out that I'm using After Effects 22.3. Now, as After Effects has matured, so has the Essential Graphics panel. And I noticed Adobe was making changes where I thought I could eliminate Essential Namer and just use the native tools within Adobe After Effects. However, there are still a few issues, and so there's still a home in my workflow for Essential Namer. So let me show you why. So if I have this layer here and I want to add the position to the Essential Graphics panel, I can click on P and I can right click on position and choose add property to Essential Graphics. Now in this case, I'm gonna get a warning message because I did not have my current comp selected up here in the Essential Graphics panel. So I have to say, okay, it's highlighted in red letting me know I'm not going to get the results I want from this. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Now, my comp right now is called Starter. And if I want to add any properties to the Essential Graphics panel here, I need to open it up and I need to scroll down to get to it. Now, in this particular case, it goes off the screen. You can't see it, but it's at the bottom of the list. It can be a little bit frustrating when you have hundreds of comps in here and having to first find your current comp before you can add a property. That kind of slows me down a bit. So let's take a look at Essential Namer. Now, if I wanna add the position, we can take a look. This first five buttons are the transform controls. So we have anchor point, position, scale, rotation, and opacity. So if I want to include the position for this particular layer, I'll just click on the P and we automatically get position and then we get the layer name and that'll work for any of these so it's nice that you can add them without having to twirl anything down you don't have to select any properties down here no right clicking just click the button and you're good to go so let me undo that sometimes you want to add all the transform properties and so we have a button for that right here for anchor point like the help says, if you hold shift while you click it, it will add all the transform properties. So let's go ahead and hold down shift. And we can see that we have them all added really quick. Uh, makes it super easy. Now let's jump over to this other comp shapes. And if I wanna just see this particular comp in the essential graphics panel, that's what this focus button is for. So if I just click on focus, it's gonna open my current comp in the essential graphics panel and you can see at the moment I don't have anything. So we can just come in here and well let's say that I want to add position for all these. I can just select them all and click on position and makes it really easy. Now I'm going to come down here to uh, star and let's say I want to add the scale but some people have told me that they don't want the layer name added just for their workflow. Adding the layer name doesn't make any sense. So all you have to do is hold down Alt and click the button and it's going to give you just the property, no layer name. So you have that option. The other thing that I find myself doing a lot is adding source text to the Essential Graphics panel. And I get really tired of twirling layers down uh, just to find a single property. I know we can search and all those things, but I was like, well, you know, what about just having a button for that? So just click on your text layer and click on source text and automatically opens the layer in the essential graphics panel and adds the source text and you're good to go. Okay. Let's take a look at what if one of my properties is not a transform property and it's not source text. Well, let's come over here to effects. So here I have a layer called box and I have a fast box blur on it. And let's just choose blur radius. And so I can just click on selected. So you can see up here, we get fast box blur, blur radius, and then we have the layer name box. And let me undo that. Um, we can hold alt on this one as well. And we can just get fast box blur, blur radius. And let's take a look at one other situation where you have a little bit of control of how the name is structured up here. So if I come to the fill and just click on color, we have rectangle one, 
we had the color and we have layer box. So let me click on selected and you can see, see the naming structure. We have rectangle one, we have the color and it's on layer box. Now I'm gonna undo it and take a look at how we can change this a little bit. So if I click on fill as well, when we get these multiple levels of naming, it's gonna take the top two and apply it. So with rectangle one, fill one and color selected, let's go ahead and click on the selected button. And you can see that we get rectangle one, fill one on the box layer. So a minor difference, right? In how that is structured, but just be aware that you do have a little bit of control of in how that is applied when it's being named in the essential graphics panel. Okay, let's go back to shapes. And sometimes I found that I wanted to add a prefix and just because uh, some piece of information was not in the property and it was not in the layer name, but I wanted it added to all the names when it's added to the essential graphics. So here we have a little box for adding a prefix and I'll just call it master underscore. And so I can just click on like square and click on scale. And we can see it up here at the top, we have master underscore scale and then the layer name. And just like before, we can go ahead and hold down alt if we just wanted to say master rotation with no layer name, okay? And let's see, we also have on focus, like it says here, if you hold down shift and click on it, you get the little help box here and it's going to run through all the different shortcuts and what all the different buttons do. And I added help uh, when you hover over the icon. So hopefully that's useful as well. But please let me know if you find something else that you would like added to this. I'd love to hear what your ideas are. Always looking to add more functionality to this script. I think it's a nice time saver. I hope it saves you time as well.